So this event was a lot of drama. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I remember oh, man. driving up with you <laughs> and being in Toronto. Uh, this is like the day before weigh-ins. Yeah. And basically all of China has showed up with their team and MTO is trying to do their best to like keep things as fair as possible. I remember when we sat down for the rules meeting, it was like a battle just to keep both countries in agreeing. It was yeah, well the communication the barrier too, right? Oh man, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Like but I almost kind of anticipated this kind of drama. Yeah. But I remember how hard um was uh, who was helping with the MTO? It's um Mike Reed. Mike Reed, yes. Yeah, Mike yeah. Reed was trying his best <laughs> to just basically hold it all together, hold the show together, hold the event together, and he did a great job of holding Team China accountable. Yeah, he They, did a phenomenal job. Because basically, it was supposed to be, you weigh in, you fight. Mm -hmm. Same day weigh-ins, but the Chinese were trying to weigh in the day before. Yeah, the day before we did a day before like kind of pref press conference and like an unofficial weigh-in. Um, And again, like the write up, I think I was like kind of like in and out of it. Like I was, <laughs> you were talking and like some of it's going in, some of it's not. And I was just like, I want to eat. <laughs> But man, the, <sighs> the Chinese, after they weighed in and the non official way in, they were loading up, They're carving eating pizza. Up, <laughs> and all of the Canadian fighters were freaking out, going, yeah. What is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Because to, to us, the way it looked basically is that the Chinese did their official way in. But the, the official waiting was not supposed to happen until the, the next day. The next yeah. day. But the Chinese were, all the Chinese fighters were eating and oh, carving yeah. up. They were like eating fruit and vegetables, <laughs> and all this pizza. I was getting very hangry. And all, <laughs> all, all the fighters of <laughs> Team Canada were like looking at each other yeah. going, yeah. what is going on? Because yeah. they want to eat, but they know they can't weigh in until the day after. Yeah. Oh man. And I not even that, they were trying to, uh, from my understanding, they were trying to negotiate the rules of the fight as oh, well. Oh yeah, I was in the room, yeah. all, all the coaches were in there <laughs> and we're looking and we're listening to the, the negotiations and uh, the, the promoter of this event was trying so hard to keep basically the two countries on the same page. Because I mean, at one point it looked like for Team Canada, like the coaches and fighters, like it look, almost looked like we were just going to walk away. Yep. Like it was getting yep. really close. And then unfortunately, a couple fights fell off the card. Yes. Yep. You know, some great fighters from uh, the Ontario Muay Thai scene. You know, unfortunately, some of these fighters didn't get to fight on the card. And obviously, they were more than ready to fight. But they agreed on specific weight. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the Chinese fighters could not make that weight. Right. So, I mean, like, like you were saying about coaches having to do the right thing to, you know, know when it's time to pull your fighter out of a fight when it's just, it's not worth it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the safety of the fighters on both yeah. ends, so. 100%, 100%. Yeah, so I think we did like four, four weigh-ins or something. Yeah. Three or four weigh-ins. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and the Canadian coaches were trying so hard to keep it fair and, and, and try to hold a line so that, uh, you know, uh, Team China would uh, meet at the agreed weight. Mm -hmm. I remember it was such uh, an issue. Luckily enough, uh, your opponent was bang on weight, ready to go. She did well, a we, great we job. Went up, I think we went up a little bit. Like it was supposed to be under oh. 119, which we both weighed the day before the fight. And then the next day, we uh, she jumped on the scale. I think she was back up to like 125. Yeah. So I was like, hey, if she stays at 125, That's that's fine. Yeah. So I was I was happy because I got to eat. <laughs> but, but, but there you go. You're a gamer. Yeah. Not not stressing over the weight, you know. And, yeah. Uh, but I but I get it. Like you, you got to stay within reason. But I for sure I know you. I know you're. <laughs> if she had been 10 pounds heavier, you're, I know you're still gonna fight. Her. Oh, of like, course, 100 percent, hundred Which is all good. Like it's yeah. It was exciting. I've done some in houses, and uh, again, you're supposed to have like certain weights. And I've showed up, and the girl was like 150, and I was like 120, and I was like, it's whatever, it's fine, let's go. <laughs> yeah. But this was a great production. It, it was held at the. Uh, in Markham or the Pan Am Center, I believe. To the Pan Am, Pan Am Center, Center, yeah. Yeah, Pan Am Center. Uh, was it Markham? I'm in Markham. Markham, yeah. yeah. F uh, great venue. H this is where the provincials take place. Provincials, yep. And uh, man, like this was such a cool experience because I'm pretty sure it's being aired live in, in China. In China, yeah. Yeah. 
pretty, pretty remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the, some of these fights that night was just, it was wild. Oh, it was a great, a great event. Super exciting. And, and what an honor for our team to represent Canada, mm -hmm. uh, you know, on such a stage. And uh, what, a, what a great opportunity. I believe you were the only female fight. Only female fight on the card, yeah. That, that night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this oh. was a, it was a great experience. In, 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 in this fight, I really, you can see the improvement in your clinch. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get to see a couple elbows in this fight. Yeah, a lot, yeah, caught, caught a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, again, even though it's it's an amateur fight, it definitely it came it look, comes off like a pro fight. Oh yeah, yeah, she comes out swinging. Yeah, we uh like we kind of knew what to expect from her. She had these big kind of loopy hooks, mm -hmm. so the game plan again was just kind of every time you see them, like step in with those lead elbows, um, and just get to her before she got to me. Yeah, you you do a great job with control of the clinch. And uh, you score quite a bit with the knees as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the clinch just negates these hooks really well. <laughs> we can hear some of uh, the Awama crew in the background. <laughs> yeah, what, it was like almost like 20 people, I yeah. think, uh, yeah. came out to this. Yeah. It was awesome. And some of the fans even in Toronto were there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Everett. This is your Everett going, yes, boss. Yeah. <laughs> I think I trained probably for like a solid four months um, for this fight. Probably like two, three hours a day. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it was exhausting, but it was definitely well worth it. Yeah. Yeah, and I believe at the time, as you were preparing, some of our other fighters were preparing for an, ev an event, uh, either it was before or after this uh, event. Yeah, because this was in December. Mm -hmm. um, and then Provincials, I think, was going to be a few months later. So like we were going to get the guys ready, and then, fortunately, no Provincials. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, shortly after yeah, this, when COVID hits. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right hand. right hand lands every time. <laughs> Boom. I think uh, already now, I think she her nose is already a little messed up. <laughs> <laughs> How many fights did your opponent have? Okay, technically they said she had like <clears throat> two, um, but I think they were going by her, her pro fights. Because um, I looked her up, she has like probably 30, 40 Amateur fights altogether, fights, yeah. yeah. Yes, boss. <laughs> See, if I, I always find round one, I'm, I, I start slow. Yeah, slow start. Yeah. yeah. Well, Still like doing, doing what I need to do, but not. Yeah. Well, with, with your fight against Janet Todd, you were definitely come. You came out of the gates really. Oh yeah, strong. yeah, I knew I had to. Yeah, <laughs> you were not. You were, you were more than uh, ready to go in the yeah. first round. But like that first round looks like like a third round. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And then in this fight, I feel like yeah, now you're, you're warmed up. Yeah. You're comfortable, and you can see how you just kind of like take off. Yeah. We also didn't have like a ton of time to warm up. Um, before we jumped in the ring, I think I was really? second fight up, yeah, and yeah. then before that, we had to do like a, a ceremony. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> that's right. You you guys were all up on the stage, both teams. Probably oh, for like yeah. a good half an hour, we're just standing there. I think it was even longer because it's, po it's quite possible. They had yeah. all these people up there talking. They're giving away these like plaques yeah. and awards, and, and, and all we're all kind of looking at each other like, are "We done? What's yeah. going on?" Yeah. And then as soon as it was done, they sent us in the back. They're like, "Okay, you're up," and I was like. But, yeah, but I'm not. Right. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate how they had all the fighters up there, just right before they're about to fight. Huh. Again, it's, it's a fight game. You never know what to expect, right? So. Yeah, you got to uh, adapt to yeah. uh, the situation. You know, you, you have been standing this whole time in the corner, 
and she's already sitting down. Yeah. Well, I've actually uh, I explained to the guys at the gym as well. I've, I've personally never sat in between fights. I don't let them sit. Um, I find as soon as you sit, you kind of get comfortable. Yeah. And then you got to get back up again, right? So it's just better to stand, in, yeah. in my own opinion. Just change that mindset. Yeah. Like that way you're just you're ready to go again. Mm -hmm. So here we go, round two. Ooh, great teeth. Yeah, see, I come out a little, little bit faster this round. Yeah, and I think... Elbows, I think, elbows, elbows. <laughs> I think in this round, the right hand really starts to catch yeah. up. And then a lot more success with the elbows. And and still scoring with the knees. I'm trying. She kept, she did a very good job there of, like, keeping it tight, like, hips in. So it was hard to, like, land, like, some, some, some good knees. But I just, you know, throw them. Throw them, get the points, mm -hmm. whatever you can, right? I think she put a lot into that first round. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was a she was a tough chick. She definitely took a lot. Nice yeah. elbow. Great elbow. So yeah, they gotta wipe wipe her nose off here. Yeah, the the right hand and the elbow is starting to take its catch toll. up. <laughs> yeah. And it's and it's wild. We just we just started the second round. Mm -hmm. I think they actually had to get the doctor to come check. Yeah, they got the doctor to come check her nose. I'm in the corner, being like, I'm totally cool if they call the fight right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will take a second round stoppage win. <laughs> yeah, but she's not gonna. No, no, no. She's not, not taking. <laughs> like I said, she was tough. She she took it. She took it. Here comes the teep to the face. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Clean combo. And nice elbow. elbow, elbow, mm. elbow. <laughs> <laughs> that was like one Victory. thing we uh, <laughs> worked on a lot. Right? Yeah, that's like that's what we knew we had to do. I think you did a great job. That. You adjusted because because she was doing such a great job to negate the knees, like you're saying, with that hip yep. pressure. You know, we went from knee to elbow, so such a great transition. Yep. I had some I had some pretty, pretty big names in my corner too, so I was like, I gotta make sure they're proud. I had uh, yourself, um, Crew Ashley, Crew Ashley Nichols, Crew Ash. Yeah. Um, so I was like, I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't the, quit. I can't, the, you know. <laughs> you had the three of us in your corner. Oh there. man. That's a that's a great corner to have. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Ashley, like, Ashley did a uh, crew. Ashley did a phenomenal job uh, sharpening you and getting you ready for this. Oh fight. yeah, she uh, definitely. She put a lot of work in with me, and I'm very grateful for it. Absolutely, and then uh, it, it doesn't hurt to have crew. Uh, oh no, uh, he he, he got me at one point. I came back and I was like, I was really tired, and he just yelled at me, and I like woke up and I was like, <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go. I remember he like messaged me uh, like a few days after the fight too. He's like, I'm sorry for yelling at you. I just needed you to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> he's doing his job. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's he's taking fighters uh, like not only to high levels in Muay Thai, but also in MMA. Oh, 100%. Yeah, he's a, he's a very well-known name. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. oh, phenomenal team. I think I landed like ne like three clean like teeps to the to the face or nice. possibly the neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and man, he did such a great job with that elbow. Just right on that button with the cross. Such a tough girl though. Oh yeah. Did yeah. not back down for a second. And didn't, she didn't walk away from you at all. No, no, she kept fight. the, she kept, she was there. Yeah, she kept was coming game. forward. Holy cow. Another yeah. team, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ate a lot of those teeps. Maybe a little too many. <laughs> yeah, man, what a great, like. Jeez, those aren't two rounds. That, that was, was the second, action. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I said, that's why I get so tired. Like I just, uh, I don't, I don't stop. Keep going. Yeah. You gotta again. We're, it, we do it because we love it, but I also do it for the fans. You know, like they, they come, they show. come for a show, <laughs> right? Like I do it for for them. Like I gotta yeah. make sure you guys are satisfied with what uh, <laughs> you're coming to watch. So <laughs> yeah. I remember one time uh, I took a fight on like a few days' notice, and uh, so I just ran, I ran just to make sure my cardio was up to get through the three rounds. Yeah. And I ended up uh, like knocking her out with a spinning back fist in 21 seconds in the first wow. round. And then everyone that came to see us, see me fight, they're like, that's what we came to see? 
that's it? And I was like, sorry. <laughs> that, ha- that happens. Yeah. Like sometimes. <laughs> kind of like a Mike Tyson scenario. Yeah. You know? Mike Tyson's up for 12 rounds and first round one Boom. Punch. You just, yeah. You never know. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> That's why, like, being at a fight like this, where an opponent is so tough, like mm-hmm. this girl, it's it makes for such an exciting night. Oh yeah. Because both fighters are putting on such a killer display. Uh, I've I've been to so many Muay Thai events. It, 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 just to here uh, in Ontario, where just incredible fighters go, like sometimes all three rounds, sometimes all five rounds. Oh yeah. And just it's it's incredible the the effort they put out. Great clinch work. Very like excellent to dominate the inside space. Boom. <laughs> I think it was that that second uh, in between the second second at the end of the second round is when I got yelled at by Kurash and definitely you can see you woke me up here. <laughs> and you know what? You got to be careful. Like even in the final seconds of a fight, a, a fighter can still be so dangerous. Y- yeah, mm. you never know. Like again, you never know. Yeah. Oh man, I was on edge. <laughs> what like such an uh, so so much fun being right there mm-hmm. at the ring. You know, it's it, like it's such a different feeling when you're f- watching a fighter you know, mm-hmm. and when you're w- you've put the time in with a fighter, the experience of being at an event like this, it's surreal. You know, if, pe- if like if our students haven't been to an event, like they need to go. Yeah. And when they see their training partners, they see their teachers fighting. Oh yeah. It just brings your experience of the art to such a, a new level. And I encourage everybody to go to your local events and like not only support these amateur fighters trying to take it to the next level, but just enjoy it for yourself. Like you're saying, these fighters put on such a, a great show. Yeah, we're deep into it now. <laughs> Again, ending the exchange, starting the exchange. <laughs> now she's kind of... She's slowing down a bit, getting yeah. tired. Yeah, now she's back off. Doesn't want too much of it. Again, like we, you were just saying, you never know what can happen in the, like the, the final seconds of the fight. So here I'm just keeping my distance and then uh, just uh, just keeping my guard up again. You never know what's going to happen. So playing it smart. Mm-hmm. But still so dangerous. <laughs> like the combinations you're pulling off. Yeah. Uh, like, excellent. And like you're still, yeah, like you're in range to hit and you're just staying just out of touch. Yeah. So she can't get you if back. If I see a comma, I can move out of the way or... Yeah. Boom. It's that right hand. I've always been told, you know, for somebody so so little, I hit like a heavyweight. <laughs> you see you put her down with the knee? Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I think I remember too. You can see actually you right there. When I threw her, when I like turned her and she dropped, you like jump in the air and you're like arms in the air. Oh, that was, that was funny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, phen- ph- phenomenal team. Like like the teamwork that went into you preparing and and getting re- ready for this fight. Mm-hmm. It's it, that's what I, I think is so fun as a as a coach and as as an instructor. You know, uh, seeing your your fighter win is like we we all have won. Yeah. You know, and and when the fighter loses, man, like we we all feel we that. Feel yeah, like we're, we're all experiencing it. I think that's what, that's what I said when I came back, when the round or the fight was over. It wasn't like I did it. It was like we did it. You yeah. know. Like I, oh, I, I remember it clear it. as day. You're like, we did it. <laughs> yeah. We did it. I'm like, because yes. It like, may man. be me in there, but you guys are all with me. Yeah. You know, you guys all helped me get there. So. Yeah. 
And it, it was so special to share it with all the teammates and mm -hmm. students afterwards. You know, like, yeah, like, I think that's what's really cool uh, about what we do is like, yeah, we do it. And yeah. We do it together. Either, uh, you know, win, loss, draw. Yeah. You know, we all put, put it out on the line together. <laughs> yeah, what a, what a, like, really, I was so grateful that we got to be on this event. It's really well put on. And who, who's the referee here? Crew Laura. She's, she's great. Yeah. She's so pro professional. She really helps keep such a high standard yeah. from, from Muay Thai. Again, there's just so many great leaders in, uh, in our community that just hold such a high standard of uh, Muay Thai. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And some team spirit there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, see? I love that about the sport. Yeah. I respect each other. Yeah. Oh, there's a... Uh, put it all out there and then... Yeah. Hug it up. So much respect at the beginning yeah. of the fight, during the fight, after the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's what's so different about uh, martial arts and, and, and combat sports. Is like, yeah, you guys are, are fighting and you're putting it all out on the line, trying to win. But... Yeah, like you're saying, Aaron, it starts with respect, it ends with respect. It's not like fighting in like, you know, sports, like, yeah. like basketball sure. or hockey. Yeah. hockey fight. And, and, and you have to be humble, like it's a sport I, I feel you have to be humble. Yeah. Like, uh, here we, we got crew Ashley in my corner and, and her and I have fought, yeah, right? Yeah. And yeah. so, again, you never know what's going to happen down the road, so. Yeah, being humble is absolutely critical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what a great event. <laughs> Same me. <Yeah. laughs>